Okay, hello. So, um, first of all, um, what's your name and what's your professional affiliation? Yes, my name is David Gouverneur. I am Associate Professor at the Department of Landscape Architecture and Regional Planning in the University of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, USA. And Mr. Governor, why did you decide on visiting this com uh, conference? Well, uh, first, I'm a very good friend of Christian Wetman. We've been working together for many years, and our common connection is uh, Professor Alejandro Echeverri from Medellin, Colombia. Uh, that's where we met. Uh, that's uh, where we started working together, uh, sharing academic information, uh, participating in conferences similar to this one. And I had no doubt when Christian invited me that this was going to be a great event. Okay, and until now, like, what aroused your interest most and what do you hope to see in the following days? Well, um, first of all, I want to um, uh, recognize the uh, organization of the event. These events can usually be very heavy and sometimes boring. Uh, this time it's been very dense, very agile, very well orchestrated in the different case studies, uh, the methodology, the working methodology, uh, combining uh, practitioners with researchers. Uh, then you have the group of uh, doctoral uh, students that are presenting their work. So it's been very rewarding and very agile. And also the way it's been structured in thematic blocks, it allows to move ahead with compelling information that uh, again allows to deliver very clear messages. And then all these things will come together tomorrow in the close-up sessions. Okay, and was there anything outstanding that surprised you most? Um, what I find uh, interesting is that there's so many people at different levels in the world that now are dealing with uh, the issues of uh, resiliency, uh, climate change and risk in general, and particularly, and, and this is something that's obvi obviously, that usually the weakest chain, uh, social chain, the weakest community, uh, the, the poorest, the most uh, challenging communities from an economic point of view, from a service point of view, from an education view, uh, point of view, they are also in the most risky locations. So uh, this is what the conference is all about. There's an enormous body of knowledge and professional practice and research that's addressing the topic which was not in the agenda only 20 years ago. And what are your like, special takeaways from this conference? What do you conclude from the speeches? Well, um, the, the takeaway, and maybe it's a bit my own uh, bias, is that the uh, academics have a lot to say, the researchers have a lot to say, the communities that benefit uh, from these efforts uh, are willing to receive them. They have, let's say, cultural knowledge. Uh, they, they know the behavior of the land. They know their demands, their expectations. So usually there's a very good uh, uh, synchronization, connection between the researchers, the academics, the professionals, and the communities. What seems to be the missing link in all this is the role of institutions and um, progressive, creative, honest, and proactive politicians. If we don't get the third uh, component of the tripod into the equation, then we are not doing enough. I think that's what I can take away of the conference. Yeah, true. So thank you, Mr. Governor, for this interview and have fun Good on the last two thank days. You.